Hey guys, Tamno here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Black Girl Make It Hybrid Sunscreen. If this is something you're interested in, make sure to keep on watching. Wait. So I'm not happy that I got this off the Black Girl Sunscreen's website. I'll explain that to you guys in a bit. So this is what the sunscreen looks like. Same packaging as their original sunscreen. The only difference is that it does have Make It Hybrid mineral combo on the tube so let's do the hand swatch first i'm going to shake this sunscreen always shake your sunscreen guys always shake your sunscreen feels like water in a keg let me just take a little okay i think that's fine so I took three drops and it is running down. <laughs> this is my wristwatch mark, just in case you're wondering. I'm charging it. So let's apply. Okay, after application. This is what it looks like. Here I applied the sunscreen. Here there's no sunscreen. It looks like I didn't really apply anything, right? It's also not shiny on the skin. Anyway, that's the hand swatch. Let me apply it on my face to see if it's going to give me the same result. So I have my measuring spoon right here. Okay. That's full. I'm going to do this application three times in the sense that what's in this spoon will be applied three times. So I'll do it a step at a time instead of going at once. First one from the spoon. All right, so let's apply. Okay, there's a cast, second one. The third one I'll scoop was inside or was left. All right, there's a cast, guys. Let me scoop out the last bit. Clean. Okay. I'm done applying the sunscreen and this is what I look like. Expect this to cling to areas where you have hair. So this card came with my order and there's a 10% discount code. So I'm going to leave it in the description box or on the screen if you like to use it. On the card, it says, Hello Hybrid. Who says you can't have the best of both worlds? And it says, Make It Hybrid is our newest moisturizing mineral combo formula. Enjoy the benefit of zinc oxide without ever worrying about a cast. This product claims to be lightweight on the skin, leaves you with a dewy finish, leaves you with no white residue, claims to be fragrance-free, and it states that it contains a bunch of oils, carrot seed oil, sunflower oil, lavender oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and shea butter. So if your skin doesn't like any of these oils, stay clear, just so you know. So what type of sunscreen is this? This is a hybrid sunscreen. Hybrid sunscreens contain both chemical and physical sunscreen filters. So what are the sunscreen filters? This contains homosalate at 10%, octisalate at 5%, octocrylene at 5%, and zinc oxide at 5%. Consistency, texture, and finish. So this is a very liquid or very runny sunscreen. It's the most liquid out of all their sunscreens. In terms of texture, 
this feels really velvety when you apply it like so it leaves your palm shiny i don't know if you guys can see it shiny but after a while it does dry down but it is very moisturizing on the skin so here's this best recommended for in my opinion dry to oily skin can use this sunscreen as far as you enjoy their original sunscreen this too you can definitely um enjoy this one as well the only thing right here is that if you are my skin tone or darker i wouldn't recommend you to buy it because of the white cast but if you're like lighter than my skin tone you may get better use of this sunscreen so does this sting the eyes no it doesn't sting the eyes so does this contain fragrance and alcohol this contains fragrance, even if the brand says it doesn't contain fragrance. So as soon as you open the cap and sniff, you're going to get a lavender scent. The smell is overpowering. Once you're done applying, maybe after a minute or two, the lavender scent just um, does fade off and you pick the um, shea butter scent if your nose is really sensitive. Quantity and price. This is a three fluid ounce tube. It retails for $16 on Target. So if you're in the US, buy your sunscreen from Target. And if you're not in the US, on the Black Girls website, it retails for $19, excluding shipping. So this brings me to why I'm not happy that I ordered it from the Black Girls website. So this sunscreen retails for $19, and there is a flat rate shipping of $15. So with each product you add to the cart, you're going to get your shipping fee multiplied. The shipping time is annoying. So basically, I ordered this two days after it launched. So it launched January 14th and I ordered this January 16th. It got here March 4th or March 5th, right? It's so annoying. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with natural light because I have to go out now. I am late for my swimming classes. So I'm done swimming. Pretty much the whole sunscreen is gone. Okay, see you guys when I get home. So this is what I look like with natural light after reapplication. Now I want to apply foundation to this um, sunscreen to see how much or how well um, this works with um, foundation or complexion product in general. I'll go in with this foundation or maybe I should apply powder to powder foundation to one side and foundation liquid foundation to one side let's see for those people who are on the go and don't want to use liquid foundation the powder So now I'm done applying both foundations to my skin. Let me turn to the liquid side. Now to the powder side. And they both look good. Just that the powder side looks like I'm done with my face. Of course, this looks more hydrating or more dewy. Let me, you know, set it with powder, powder and foundation. Never ending vacation. I've been feeling selfish. I never want you to 
like every other hybrid sunscreen I've tried, there's always a cast linked to it because of the zinc oxide or the titanium dioxide. I'm yet to see that, you know, sunscreen that has either of these ingredients that doesn't leave my skin or deeper or darker skin with um, a cast. Is this a, you know, hybrid sunscreen that you should go jump on? If you're lighter than me, go ahead and pick it. But if you're deeper, just, you know, stick to the other sunscreens. Just get yourself the Makey Matte sunscreen. If you like something that has like a silicone texture, that's a perfect do for the um, super goop on sin sunscreen. I have reviews on both of them, so you have to check it out. I'll just leave like a sunscreen card on the screen so you can, you know, watch other sunscreen videos. So I just thought of something. Okay, I know I just applied makeup on, but let's see how this is going to work with reapplying the sunscreen on makeup. Let's tap. Um, in all honesty, I feel like when you use your beauty blender to apply uh, sunscreen on your makeup, it's going to wash off. Like there is a bit of, you know, wash off going on. I'll show you guys in a bit. Let me try the other side because this has powder foundation. So let me try where I set the powder. Yeah, I see people do this. So I just want to see how it works. I have, you know, tried this out and I can tell that I do not like using the Beauty Blender to apply sunscreen on makeup. I'd rather just use a sunscreen powder, like the Super Good ones or the, um, the Color Science or something like that. Or I just use a spray sunscreen like the La roche one. So this doesn't work for me. Let me come forward so you guys can, you know, see why. I feel like it washed off a bit. If you're fine with this technique, you can surely go on with it. It does um, give you a dewy finish. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys found my video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like it, make sure you share it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, and thank you so much for watching.